And basically what it is, dowling, some big dowling, and some copper connectors and things like that to make three pieces out of it which come apart and convert into a chair. Uh, great article. I really liked it and I thought what a great idea. So that's what I wanted to do. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to make some modifications and uh, add some things on myself. I'm looking for some storage space and a couple of other things and we'll see what happens. Um, basically what I'm going to be using is I bought some doweling. This is actually one and a quarter inch doweling. I just prefer a thicker one. I needed a thicker handle. I prefer a thicker handle. I just, it feels better in my grip. This is a one and a quarter inch oak dowel that I bought at the local hardware store. So you're going to have three sections of two feet, which is about a six foot staff, which is what I'm looking for. And to be able to come apart and then use that to form the chair that you're going to sit. I wanted to make a slight mod and that was I wanted to add storage and what I did was bought some copper pipe and this is actually one inch uh, copper pipe to get that nice tight fit. Um, here's one of the parts I'll be using and it's a male adapter and because this is one and a quarter I wanted to keep it even can you see that and if you can see that it actually matches the outside of that adapter so i'm going to have to carve in here to get this onto there and i'll be using uh, jb weld epoxy to hold it together it's really important you use this style so what you're going to need is you need a, a male adapter which is a one inch to three quarter inch adapter and then you need the female one inch to three quarter inch adapter and obviously these go together and as you can see one piece of the dialing will go in there the other piece in there and that's how you join them together so you need a couple of these so here's where i came into some problems um the male and female connectors they they go together uh very tight the thread on this is a very deep thick thread and as you tighten up, the thread gets deeper and harder. You can see right here, it's really tight. Um, and if I keep turning it, which happened to one of my connectors, I actually couldn't get it back undone. With it. So I had to come up with a solution for this. And what I did was like this. Now what I do is I put the ring on there. I'm going to fix it on there. And then when I put the female on, the female's going to butt up against that ring before it gets too tight and I can't get it undone. Now it's butted up there, but I can still get it undone. And it's still going to be strong enough to hold everything together, the staff together. So that was my solution and I'm hoping. So yeah, you can see it and uh, I can unscrew it. Um, it comes apart pretty easy and it holds together pretty tight. I've already taken it for a test drive. I'm sure you've seen me using it on some of my videos and my walkabouts. But here you can see the end result. And you can see it comes apart and you've got enough thread here. It doesn't look like much, but really all you need is about three turns of thread for it to be a good solid um, fit. Um, as you can see, um, I used a little bit of uh, wood filler to fill in the edges here just to give it I actually left deliberately left a gap and even over here you can see um, I uh, carved into the wood around here and around here just to give it some character and used a wood filler and then um, I used a stain and you can see how it stained the wood it brought out um, all the dark stuff and then where I'd use the wood filler obviously pulled in the stain a lot more so it gave it some character so I did that for all the joints so you got this join here and this join here same thing again you can see how I cleaned it up now I told you about the storage this here is actually the copper tubing and you know you've got the join here you can take it apart so you can see it comes apart 
and then my copper tube um, I used a, a straight through connector and fitted it to the end here and the tube comes out and in the tube here my plan is to store the seat and on the end at the top you can see here I just used a cap copper cap on the top I didn't want anything fancy um, that'll be another part of the multitasking for the staff um, one of the reasons I wanted it that long is I'm gonna hopefully be able to use the staff as a support for my top um, one thing I did decide to do and that was just to remind me um, which is the which piece goes on where they're actually matched and you can see our little bit of carving out here put the wood filler in show an arrow that shows that the top piece goes on here they are matched Obviously, my rings weren't exactly the same, so I needed to make sure that I had the match joins. And of course, I have my handle, which is that 550 cord, and kind of did some fancy work on it there. And I have this cord, which I'm hoping is going to be part of the chair, hold it together, the legs anyway. So there you have it. So yeah, you can see the three separate pieces. <laughs> Let me stay focused on that. And you can see the ends on them, the handle. I did find something else, and that is this bag. And it just so happens that this very bag, which was an old tent bag for the, the support poles for the tent, um, and they just happen to match the length <laughs> of all three. They fit in there perfectly. What that allows me to do is take it apart, put it in there and carry it like that. When I put it, it is a long pole. It's a six foot, six foot pole. Um, kind of bulky to be putting in and out of a, a trunk in a car or in the back of the truck or anything like that. So this allows me to just break it down and keep it in one little bag. You can see the bag here, but uh, up next I started the seat and I used an old hammock material and I made a triangle. 15 inch sides and I made just some excess on each corner for the uh, poles to sit in and use some 550 cord as an extra support just to make it a little bit more stable. Um, here you can see it upside down uh, put together and standing up like this and I will show you next how it works. So here you can see that top piece I told you about and here is the uh, copper tube with the storage and the issue I had was when I stored my seat, um, I had to find a way to get it out easily enough. Now, it comes apart like that. And you can see here, I have some 550 cord. The reason for that is so that I can pull my seat out. And there it is there. So it's a easy way to get it out before when I push it in without the cord, um, I struggled to get it out. So that solved that problem. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. So here I have the three pieces together and you can see they come apart. And this is where um, I had hanging off the handle, which is uh, where my hand goes, straps around me so that if I drop it, I don't lose it. So the idea is to tie these three together uh, to make the legs of the seat. The, the main issue I came with was trying to get that was when... I tied these three together there was no 550 cord here and because it's so smooth they would slip so I had to put 550 cord on each one and you can see I did it here so that it'll sit right there so what I do put these together bring them in and tie them together to make the the legs of the seat so here you can see I've tied them together with just a half hitch and now you stand them up and the legs go together like that now it doesn't look very stable right now but once uh, i put the seat on with the extra 550 support it holds it together nicely for me well that's the plan and we're about to test it so here we have it together and when you sit on it you have to have the front piece on it and uh, one of the problems I'm having 
is my sewing isn't as good as I'd like it to be. And I did not get the seat even. Um, I'm hoping to beg, get on my knees, and beg a friend of mine to actually sew one for me on a sewing machine so that everything is even. But the plan works. It actually works for me. The problem I'm having is my sewing. So there you have it. A seat and a walking stick. A place to hang your tent, a place to support a top, and of course an extra leg for walking in bad conditions. There you go. My multi-use walking stick.